Hey guys, it's Ed Devin and I coming at you with another Robinhood portfolio update. Happy Tuesday. Hopefully everybody had a GGD, a great green day in the market. You know, I always wish the best for my viewers and subscribers. So for today, um, during the market, we were up 26 81 at market close and after hours we gained another ten dollars and 89 cents so we're up about 0.1 percent today gained about 36 dollars in the portfolio for the week we're up 181 dollars and 98 cents up 0.56 percent for the past week we are up 1196 dollars and 57 cents up 3.79 percent this past month we are up $3,731.51, up 12.86% for the past three months. And that big dip there, man, like a $10,000 dip on April 6th. Then we're up $8,163.86, up 33.2% in the past year. <clears throat> and then all time, we are up $7,133.89, up 27.85% since April 13th. Of 2018. As you guys can see, we have $18.56 for buying power. <clears throat> Jumping into the sing the um, securities here, we have a realty income sitting at 65.18 for uh, market close today <clears throat> with 24 shares. $1,500 of market value. Average cost is 51.02. 4.78% of the portfolio is in realty income. We're down $1.68 today. We're up $339.78, up 27% on realty income, <clears throat> and a dividend of $4.70, but that's only for 20 shares, so that will be going up a little bit since we have 24 shares now. I bought that before the X date, so that'll be added for next month. Those shares will be added for next month. Then we have Coca-Cola, my personal favorite stock. We have 21 shares. A little over $1,100 of market value. Average cost is $51.39. 3.41% of the portfolio is in Coca-Cola, up $8.82 today. Total, we're up $38.70, up about 3.6% on Coca-Cola stock. <clears throat> then we have the insurance company for this set of months, Allstate. We have six shares, $706 of market value. Average cost is $105.88. 2.16% of the portfolio is in Allstate, up 204 3% today. Total up 71.68, up 11.28% on all state stock. Then we have WP Carry, my REIT for this set of months. <clears throat> we have 20 shares, uh, $1,400 of market value. Average cost is 70.29. 4.43% of the portfolios in WP Carry, up 680 today, up about half a percent. Total up 42.91, up 3% on WP Carry. And we have a dividend coming in of sixteen seventy seven. That also is not accurate. We have twenty shares now, so we'd have more than twenty dollars coming in. Um, but that's not a big deal because uh, we bought shares after the X date when I switched out uh, Exxon for Embridge. So then we have Altria Group, one hundred and fifty two shares, seventy eight hundred dollars of market value. Average cost is forty three fifty nine. About twenty. 3.9% of the portfolio is in Altria Group, up $9.12 today. Total, we're up $1,100, up almost 18%, and a dividend coming in on the 30th of April of $130.72. So for the total of this month, we should be getting paid around $130, or sorry, $160 of dividends. <clears throat> um, it'll actually be closer to like $150, because that those extra uh, $4 and extra $2 from... Um, realty income won't be added, but it will be the next time that they pay. So I'm excited about that because we're actually over $160 for this set of months. Then we have AT&T, the biggest payer for this set of months, sitting around $31 a share. We have 165 shares, $5,100 of market value. Average cost is around $30, just about 30 cents below. Um, we are about 15.5% of the portfolio is an AT&T stock. Average cost is... Oh, sorry, I did that already. <laughs> uh, today we're up $46. Total, we're up $213.99, up 4.37%. Then we have Lincoln Financial Group. We have 10 shares, uh, $629 of market value. Average cost is a little over $63. And almost 2% of the portfolios in Lincoln Financial, up $4.10 today, up 0.66%. In total, we're down nearly a dollar, down 0.15%. Then we have Alliant Energy. Uh, closed at around $55 today. 
10 shares, about $550 for market value. Average cost is $52.14, 1.67% of the portfolio is in Alliant Energy. Down 20 cents today, up 26.82 total, up 5.14%. Then we have Abby. We have 60 shares of this pharmaceutical company, $6,300 of market value. Average cost is $72.22, about 19.34% of the portfolio is in Abby. Down 30.40 today. Up about two grand, up 46.08% on AbV. Then we have Aflac, my favorite insurance stock. We have 50 shares of Aflac, uh, 25, almost $2,600 of market value. Average cost is 46.50. About 8% of the portfolio is an Aflac stock, up $8 today, up $255.59, up nearly 11% on Aflac stock. Then we have Mercury Insurance. We have 10 shares, $622 of market value. Average cost is $6086. About one exactly 1.9% of the portfolios in Mercury Insurance. $620 we're up today, up 1%, $1352, and we're up 2.2% all time for Mercury Insurance stock. Then we have First American Financial stock, 10 shares of this insurance company. $586.60 for market value. Average cost is $56.38. About 1.8% of the portfolio is an FAF. Up $770, up 1.33% today. Total, we're up almost $23, up 4% on this stock. And then finally, the stock that I switched out for ExxonMobil. <clears throat> we have 100 shares, $3,600 of market value. Average cost is $36.28. 11.23% of the portfolio is in Enbridge, down 21% today, sorry, down $21, down a half a percent today. Total, we're up $49, up 1.36% all time. So that f uh, finishes up the portfolio for stocks that I own. I'm super excited to be putting more, more um, money into Coca-Cola, into <clears throat> Alliant Energy, and into the other insurance companies, so they equal out to Aflac's total number of shares. Then for our watch list, we have Mondelez. I wanted a consumer brand from the, the first set of months. I know I have Coca-Cola, but I wanted more food um, in the portfolio, which Mondelez has exactly that. Um, at $59 right now, I wouldn't want to be buying it. 52-week high is 60 bucks, so it's really close to that high right now. Uh, but the 52-week low is at $48, so about $10 off of the current price. So I would want to buy this around, like, around 50 bucks if I could get it around there. Um, so they own um, Nabisco, which include Oreo, um, Catberry, um, Trident Gum. They own um, Chips Ahoy, Teddy Grahams. They own Triscuit, Ritz, uh, Chicken and a Biscuit. So a lot of the snack goods that I buy personally. Um, and that's kind of what I wanted to go after for a consumer brand. Um and it fits in the set of months as Coca-Cola, but Coca-Cola doesn't pay in January, so Mondelez will take over that payment um, and help kind of even out the number of stocks that pay me. Next, we have Procter & Gamble. <clears throat> I did have General Mills here before. I've had Apple here before. And honestly, I like Procter & Gamble a lot better. Um, I wanted to own Gillette, and uh, they own so many consumer brands. It's crazy. As you guys can see, I've owned it in the past. <laughs> um, but they... Um, they do, they have so much. Um, they have shaving products, um, oral care products, toothpaste, personal care, um, vitamins, mineral supplements, home care, laundry, detergents, air freshener, um, baby and feminine care, baby wipes, diapers, adult um, feminine care, paper towels, tissues, and toilet paper. Like they have so much for, for, um, when it comes to products and diversification. And as you guys can see, I've bought it and sold it before. Bought it at 82, sold it at 93, and got a dividend as well. So, But if I was smart, I would have kept it at you know 82 because I'd be up way big on Procter & Gamble. But um, that was, when was that, 2018? So when I started, right about when I started, um, a few months after starting investing. So um, Procter & Gamble at 136. Um, the 52-week high is 46. 146 and the low is 111. So I really try to get this around the 120 mark to 130 mark. I know it's like a $10, you know, usually try to get right in between the low and the high. So about 120 would be where the sweet spot sweet spot for Procter & Gamble would be. Um, and then Hershey is going to finish out the portfolio. I've had travelers here before. Um, I've looked into Kraft Heinz uh, for food. 
uh, but I really want Hershey because I love their product line. They have over 80 brands. They own stuff like Twizzlers, Jolly Ranchers, of course, Hershey's itself um, has a bunch like Hershey Kisses, Hershey Chocolate Bars. They have uh, Catberry as well. Uh, just a, a lot of uh, products that I I think will be um, in demand for a very long time, and I don't think people are going to get bored of chocolate. Um, so I want diver to diversify a little bit and get food in my portfolio. So that's the goal for me for, for the rest of the year. I'm still focused on insurance, uh, but I do have insurance paying me every single month, and the insurance companies that I've picked um, I plan on holding for a very long time. So I just wanted to get broader diversification within the portfolio. Still focus on insurance um, and any other deals that I see within the portfolio. But I do want to add Mondelez for the products that they own. Procter & Gamble, of course, for the products. And Hershey because I love chocolate and I don't think it's going to go anywhere. So these are going to be pretty tried and true. And once they're added into the portfolio, I don't think I'll be adding anything except Procter & Gamble. Or sorry, excuse me. Um... Uh, except Procter & Gamble, Mondelez, Hershey, and then, the, of course, the only other exception is going to be Berkshire Hathaway stock. Uh, that's going to be my once-a-year buy, um, and I'll just buy it every single year so I keep track of how many years I'm in the stock market. So after I get Mondelez added, Procter & Gamble and Hershey, Berkshire Hathaway B stock will be the next one that I add. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button, and when you do, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any updates. I post... Videos Monday through Friday, so Monday's video came out on Tuesday, so Tuesday's video is going to come out on Wednesday, and of course I'm going to try to get a couple more videos out here and there throughout the week since I'm off work this week. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember to hit subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with another Robinhood portfolio update. Take care, guys.